just under one hour has elapsed and I've come in to inspect the thing. Let's give it the poke test. I'm going to go underneath here where it doesn't really matter and this little dribble here I'm going to poke it. Oh, it's got a little nubbin on there. Yeah, okay, so I need that to dry. Mm, looks like that might have gone all the way through to the plastic. This gets the cure overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to put fiberglass on it and turn it into a mould rather than just a gel coat. Or at least that's the plan. Later that same evening. Okay, exciting. The, um, the polyester gel coat is now dry to the touch. It feels like a little rubbery. Um, but what I'm going to do now is, before I go to bed, what time are we at? Well, it's late. It is 20... Oh, 22, 22. Uh, I'm going to hit this with a layer of fiberglass and normal epoxy resin. I'm just going to do that before I go to bed and get that curing overnight. I'm using my nastiest leftover 10 year old chop strand mat because this is just the mold and I kind of want to get this stuff out of the way in the shed before I move on to using cloth instead of chop strand. So there's enough here for a couple layers of that. Using my fancy shears again. What have I got there? So there's two layers. Honestly, these, these kits that come with chop strand mat, they really don't give you much in it. So if, if at all possible, just go to a fiberglass store and buy mat. You'll be, uh, you'll be much better off in the long run and much cheaper overall on the project because, because this, this is not enough to do anything. Well, I'm just going to quickly mix up some resin. You've seen me do that, and no need to uh, show you that all over again. Okay, step one. I'm going to paint brush a layer of epoxy onto the polyester. That very first thin layer will behave like glue and help me stick some chop strand. First layer of delicious gluey resin is on the top here. And I'll lay out. I've got gloves on so right now I don't care about getting my fingers wet. I'm particularly interested in getting this corner here to fold round. That will not roll at all. Ah, chop strand sucks. strand really will not stick to the polyester. It is refusing. So that's a sticky layer. I don't know whether I should hit it with another one. I think I might need to retire these gloves. I think those have done their duty. I think I have mismanaged the gloves in this case. Matt is way nicer than the first lot. Pretty sure you're not meant to use your hands to do this, but I got my gloves on, so might as well, might as well get in there. Plus, it really lets me squeeze out that resin. The idea of the blocks is that I'm really trying to get the sides to hang off to create a bit more length. Mm -hmm. 
What is in store when I pull this out of the mould? Could be another disaster. So far my winning streak has been pretty much zero, just disasters, but hey, this is what I'm doing with my spare time while I'm under lockdown. What are you doing? Anyway, I'm gonna call it quits there. Thank you for watching. Please, for the love of God, tell us your tips if you have some. Questions, comments, likes in the boxes below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope everyone's making good decisions. I'll see you shortly when I pull that out of the mold. Thinking about 50-50. It's better than the last mold that I did, but it ain't perfect. It's far from it. All I need is to be able to get the rough shape of the hood scoop out of that. And I can patch the rest up later. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, everyone. Bye-bye.